What are you doing? Eh? That's quite easy. Very weird. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Today I'm marking Software Quested at the ANU campus. So that's part of a wider project that allows us to not only look at their social networks, so how, who do they like to hang out with, but also on how the cockatoos actually use the city and move around the city. Come on guys, stop it. So on a daily basis, they will meet several hundreds, up to 500 or more individuals. And yet they still manage to have very differentiated relationships. So in humans, you would call that friends and their mates and their mates to maintain all these relationships despite being in this huge abundance of other individuals. You might see that most of the flock here is already marked. So that's something we can do without ever having to catch them while they jump around us. Just using uh, makeup sponges and non-toxic fabric dye. So all birds are individually marked, so we can recognize individuals. But in every marking, we also encode the location where they have been marked. So that's why you have some of the birds that are marked horizontally. So that's a new birds. And then you have some birds like the one just in front here that's vertical marked birds. So those have been marked at the O'Connor roost. And the combination of both the color combination and the direction actually allows us then to kind of assess where the bird has been from on a very quick point of view and who it is more specifically. Basically what we do here is to record when you see each individual and where you see it, whom you see it with. And that allows us to be the social, to build the social networks. And for that, we kind of taking advantage also of the citizen science reports. So we're getting to Big City Bird app where people can basically just upload a picture of the markings from whichever bird they saw. And that gives us a GPS um, stamp with, along with the time. Once these behaviors emerge, it's quite interesting to actually be aware of it and also see how it spreads. So that's obvious, of course, on a, to avoid human wildlife conflict, but also more on a research way of how can they actually learn these kind of behaviors. And for that, the many eyes of citizen science is obviously <laughs> amazing to ha have that input. We get to see all the nice sunrises. <laughs> yep, yeah, back tomorrow <laughs> at the same time. <laughs>